Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm going to go through my empties to tell you if it was worth it, and there's a few things that weren't worth it, and to announce the winners of my last giveaway. And this really isn't in any order, maybe a little bit, but I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna talk about is the Grande Brow. I absolutely love it. When I first got it, I used it every night on my brows, and I wanted to keep track to see how long this lasted. I opened this on June 22nd, and I it was empty on 4-16-21, so that was almost 10 months ago. But now, I only use it three nights a week, and I mostly use it in this area right here because I couldn't get my eyebrows thicker with derma rolling there, so I just put it in each eyebrow, I do not double dip. I just do take it out one time. I will probably always use this. I have used lash serums in my eyebrows before and I got long eyebrows. I didn't, they didn't get thicker. So I really do like this. Now the Grande Lash, I opened it up a few days later. It ended up lasting nine months. And again, now I just use it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But when I first started using it, I used it every night, and I can't remember exactly, but it seems like it took seven or eight weeks for me to see the, the growth. And I just use it on the outer part of my eyelashes. I don't put it in here, so maybe that's why it lasts so long. And the reason I've had people ask, they said, well, you'll, you throw your mascaras away every three months why do you keep using your eyeliner? And the reason is it doesn't come in contact with the wetness of my eyeball. So, I, I mean, it does, it's not as much of a breeding ground. So I just go right on top of it and that's it. And I've never had any problems. And speaking of mascaras, I think I just threw away my two old tubes. I was getting a few things together. I went into the kitchen to do some things I had two tubes and then I had that little tie that I tie around the one that I'm using because I took it off and I thought. So I guess I dropped it in our, our trash. I'm not gonna go through it because they were both empty. I change my mascara out every season, the beginning of every season. So I had spring and I had summer and I will have another one I know in fall and I buy mine at a reduced price. It's been my favorite mascara since it first came out and I think, I don't know, I know it came out in February and it was three or four years ago and it's just a perfect mascara for me. So yes, I will repurchase and of course, I will repurchase a Grande Brow and I'm pretty sure I'll do Grande Lash but I'm, I'm willing to try something else then. Sadly, I used up my Milk Makeup it's a gel eyeliner. I, I only use navy and I only use it in the upper water line. And this was a good one. I do have, I bought two backups before they went out of, of business, but I've only found two cruelty-free eyeliners that stay in the upper water line. One of them was from It Cosmetics and they don't make the navy anymore and they have changed formula. I need to check and see if they brought in navy. But something a little bit interesting I have tried the Marc Jacobs, I've tried the Urban Decay 24 hour, and they didn't last on me, but I had a black Marc Jacobs and a black Urban Decay, and they both did great. But I quit using black in my upper water lines quite a few years ago, so I'm strictly in navy. Maybe I'll get exciting and try another color sometime. Uh, a deep purple wouldn't be bad. This is the second Brazilian Kiss by Sol de Janeiro. de Janeiro. It's a lip balm. I've used up both of them. I thought they were good. I think they're $18. One of them was a gift and I bought one that I don't think I'd repurchase because there's so many other things I like better. But um, I do like several of the Sol de Janeiro products. It's still good, but it's, it's not like a top one. The IT Anti-Aging Armor with 50 plus SPF is gone. I don't think I will repurchase it. I like the one from Dermatology. I'm not sure if you can buy this one. This is the Tint and Moisturizer SPF uh, 46 Universal Tint. 
I think they've come out with a one that is totally mineral. This is mineral and chemical, but I love this. I bought one before they came out with a new one. So when I try the new one, I'll let you know, but this is so much less expensive. It has just about, it has, to me, it has the same SPF. It works as my moisturizer. The only thing I liked better from IT Cosmetics, their uh, anti-aging armor, it had more of a tint and it had a little bit more coverage. The dermatology is a lot less expensive and I like it very well. I used up a Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray and I lasted me over a year. I opened it up on March 6, 2020 and well, you know, this is August and I think it probably Oh, five or six weeks ago, it ran out and I opened up a new one. So I know these always last me a year and I use it every time I wash my hair with the exception of the time that I use uh, the dream coat once a month. I probably use 14 or 15 pumps and I just really, I like the way it smells. I like the way it makes my hair look. And I, even if I don't blow dry my hair, I'll put some of this on my hair. So this is a keeper and once a year, you know, I mean, that's a good thing. This is the second shea butter and coconut oil mask that I've used up and I got every bit of it. And it's from Trader Joe's and my dear friend Elle uh, from Elle is for Living sent these to me and I will buy it because I think I found some on Amazon and some on eBay but we don't have a Trader Joe's. I think three hours is the closest. And when we're in that, when we're in St. Louis, I'm not thinking about Trader Joe's. I mean, there's so many other things going on, but it is wonderful. I use it two different ways. A couple of times a month before I wash my hair, several hours before I wash my hair, I will just work it through and I will leave it on. I'll put my hair up in a bun and just make sure it's saturated and then I wash it and, and it just does really, really well. It's the best mask that I've used since back in the day. I don't know if you all remember, there was something called cholesterol and it started with a K and it reminds me a lot of that, but it's a good one. The next item is full, but it's full of a different product. I used up the Whey Leave-In Conditioner. This sells for $26. I didn't pay $26 for it. I believe it came in a FabFitFun when I was subscribed to it. And I really liked it. And I thought about reordering it. And I thought, I don't, I don't, I mean, if it was fantastic, I would spend $26 for this. But it, it was just really good. So I looked at my cabinet and I found my Infusion 23. I used to use this as a leave-on, and that's what I've been doing the last several months. I've just refilled this, and now I need to buy a new infusion. And I think, I mean, I think they're almost 34 ounces, the infusion, the big bottle. And I'm thinking, I don't know, it, they may be $12 or something like that, but I mean, it, it works every bit as well as the way. Every year before sandal season, I use a peeling sock. And this time I tried the Vosh peeling socks. I mean, they didn't hardly work at all. I followed the instruction completely. And I know I did because prior to this, I've always used baby foot and that's what I will use again. It is excellent. You think your feet are in good shape? <laughs> I do anyway. And when I've used that in the past, I'd have to wear socks because I would really lose a lot of skin. And I take care of my feet. There's something really satisfying about seeing all that dead skin go off your feet when you use the baby foot. So I won't purchase this and I'll purchase the baby foot. My 0.25 millimeter derma roller started filling differently. So I am going to get rid of this. I've already ordered, I always keep a backup because once it starts to feel differently, then I want to trade it out. And I like the 192 real needle derma rollers uh, that are made of stainless steel. You can sometimes find them on Amazon. I order mine from Skin Diva. I have a 20% off 
uh, length, and I'm just really happy with them. They're, they're consistently good. I like the shape of them. I have never had any problem. Prior, probably for the first couple of years that I used a derma roller, I used what they call a disc derma roller, and I keep checking that Timeless still sells the disc, so if you've noticed, I don't ever say buy yours at Timeless, although they worked for me for two years, but I just know the real needle derma rollers are so much better. So I've already repurchased my derma roller. In fact, I have backups for the three sizes that I use. I probably had a couple of these. I saved one. It is a Shiseido facial razor. One of my viewers, Nola, she said she tried it after hearing me talk about them for, so for, for such a long time. And she couldn't believe how smooth her skin was was and how much more debris and hair she got from her face. I have tried them all and for me and Nola, they're the they're the best. I finished the Skin Diva Vitamin C plus E plus Fruitlic Acid. This is a 20%. This is what I use on my face. I think it lasted almost five months because I probably, I opened it on 319. No, it probably, it lasted about four and a half months. Um, I, I, w I like this and I like the Timeless. They have identical ingredients listed in the same order. I always keep it in the refrigerator and I've never had to throw any away because it's always stayed good. I used up the IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. I mean, it, it didn't do anything harmful. It just didn't do anything beneficial. I love the blue, the Bye Bye Under Eye Brightening cream is what I like. This was just okay, and I, I won't repurchase. And this is this is for everybody. This is the Aloe Vesta Foaming Cleansing Foam. I got this when I was a patient probably five years ago when I had to be in the hospital like for four days, I think, to start a new medication. They gave me this. I brought it home. And what it is, it's a pH balance. It's a you don't have to rinse it. It's a shampoo. It's a body wash. But what it really works really good for, and I've reordered it since I emptied this, you shake it up and there's just a little bit left. And you can put one pump on a tissue and it takes a place of the other wipes that you can buy. And it is so gentle on the skin. Aloe Vista, the, I've, I use these this in nursing school way back in the day. So I know that it's good. It's also good like if your power's out and you don't have any hot water and you wanna bathe, you can put some on a washcloth and you can clean your body, you can clean your feet. It's excellent for your bottom. And uh, so I did order some more of those. But if you're a caregiver, if you're just for yourself, for your children, this is a great product. I mean, this one lasted, I, I know, four and a half years. I probably forgot about it for a little while and then probably something happened and I couldn't take a bath for whatever reason. They may have other brands, but I'm just familiar with this brand. And the last thing I used up is from Bath, bath and Body. It is a moisturizing body wash. I've had this a long time. I used every bit up. It smells good and I'm pretty bad about, I like, I have like five different body washes that I just take turns with. So I don't use them up very often because some of them I just don't want to use up because I love them and I don't want to have to repurchase them. Um, but anyway, I did use this one up. So that's my empties. I know I missed some things. I know I've used up. Well, I'll put my skincare video in here somewhere. I know I've used up my Retin-A. I've used up the Hyaluronic Acid, the Matrixel 3000. I mean, I've used all those things, but some, I just forget. I'm not as good as a lot of people about remembering. And every time I say I'm going to be better, and I will be better. Now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. Before I announce the winners of my recent giveaway, I do want to mention when I finally get to my box that says open later, the one that's 30 years old, several of you ask if I would share the contents. And I definitely will if there's anything of interest or is anything crazy. So now I want to announce the winners. The first name that was drawn is Linda. Congratulations to you, Linda. The second winner is Sherry. Congratulations to you, Sherry. 
And the last winner is Diana W. Congratulations to you, Diana. Make sure you leave a comment below and uh, I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. And these winners will all receive a either a $50 e-gift card or a deposit to their PayPal or their Venmo account. Thank you so much for watching, for, some, for spending time with me. I appreciate your support more than you will ever know. It is all good. I will see you in my next video and you take care. And to announce the when opened it on 4-16-1921. This is a this is a set <laughs> and it's from uh, by from it's made I got it in a lot